Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter and I am so excited for today's video because as you can see, I have a brand new friend. So as a typewriter collector, it is so great to be able to meet people through Facebook or Instagram or YouTube because you never know what kind of collectors you're going to run into or who you might inspire to get their first typewriter. I was really fortunate to have somebody message me on Instagram and invite me to a typewriter type-in event in Chicago, Illinois in August. Now this person was Glenn and after talking a few times, we actually decided to meet up at this event, which he had organized, and trade typewriters. So I was going to give him my Olympia SM9, and in return, he was going to send me home with this Royal Safari in beautiful yellow with a script typeface. I was so excited for this event to be invited as a guest, so I went on a quick journey with my mom over the weekend to this typewriter typing event and got to meet a lot of really cool people and swap some really cool stories. So here's a little bit of vlog footage of our very long train journey. Well, here we are at the Evergreen Park Senior Center, and we're all set up for the Type In event featuring Sarah Everett of Just My Typewriter, who is my daughter. And here are all the typewriters that are on display for people to try. All different kinds. Smith Corona, Olympia, a great little royal here on the end. It's a script writer. And this is a beautiful location. It's a converted former church. And there's Sarah. Wave! She's our... We're having a great weekend here. And here are some more typewriters that are on display for the event. Wow, That's that cute. is gorgeous. Very pretty. Okay. And this tells you the exact number it was when they were making them. Really? And you can look this up the exact year it was made based wow. on the serial it's number. Like a lot yeah, so, and, and that this one would have it as well. Really? And it would have it under the carriage on the one side, probably. Very well done. Let's see. Yeah, right here you've got this plate. You might want to, you know, clean it. But it would have a number on it. You could plug this number into the serial database and figure out exactly the year it was made. I'm transferring my story on the Hanks Writer app. There you go. To an actual typewriter. typewriter at the type in. 
in script on the Royal Safari. And it's really fun. I'm having a good time. Very addictive and I'm getting my chops back. Good. My typing chops. So the Evergreen Park type-in, the first annual one, <laughs> I'm getting some footage so Sarah can document her trip here. <laughs> well, we're doing, we're Beautiful. Doing How's it going? Oh, the tower. Oh my. Well, she can use this as B-roll. Our, our adventure to Illinois. Languages or typefaces. Yeah. And as you hit a key, a pin comes up and the lever swings around to inject it. And it gets hit in the back with a small hammer and that presses the paper into the ink and the type. No, I do all video um, and like I review typewriters. I show people how to like make crafts with their typewriters, um, how to get ribbons, do some simple repairs, stuff like that. Now how do you get paid from that? I don't. <laughs> it's just been for fun right now, yeah. So this is the typewriter that I came home with. I had such a lovely time in Chicago meeting the people from Evergreen Park and getting to meet all other types of collectors and people interested in typewriters. This typewriter specifically is a Royal Safari from 1966. Now what's cool about this typewriter, besides its beautiful color, which is called antique gold, is that it has a script, a vertical script typeface. Now Royal marketed this typeface as Spencerian font, and it was only used on Royal Portables and Brother machines. It was actually adopted from an Olympia script typeface, but again, it was only used on Royals and Brothers. Now, Spencerian font has a history of being a handwriting style that was actually used at the turn of the century, you can see Spencerian font from a handwriting style in the Coca-Cola logo and the Ford Motors logo. The shapes are based on an oval rather than a circle, which is what makes it stand out and it makes it look a little bit more casual than some of the writing styles used before. Now on the typewriter, it doesn't look the same as a handwriting style, but it does have connected letters, which is something you don't always find on script machines because they weren't always able to get that loopy style to carry over between letters. I was able to use this machine to write a pen pal letter and I was so excited to see how it turned out. It was a beautiful script typeface to read and it just looks really beautiful when typed out on really nice paper. I highly encourage you to network with other creators and other collectors out there. I got to meet so many interesting people at this typewriter event, so many other collectors, learn so many different perspectives on typewriters. My preferences are different than other collectors and it's so amazing to be able to swap stories, swap machines, and get to experience typewriters collectively. I had the distinct honor of being able to take these typewriters with me on trains and I met a few people in the train stations who had never seen a typewriter before for in their lives and I got to open my portable case and show them their first typewriter. To be able to do that as a collector is such an amazing experience and I highly encourage you to show your typewriters to your friends, to your neighbors, to strangers, to get them interested in typewriters and collecting as well. I was so honored to be able to meet some other collectors, to be invited as a guest at this really cool event and I highly encourage you to share typewriters with anyone that you meet because you never know who you might inspire, you never know who might leave 
leave that interaction and go dig up their typewriter out of their basement, put it on their desk, buy a new ribbon, and get really interested in the craft of typewriting. If you're interested in more typewriter content, I do have more videos on this YouTube channel, and I have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I've included links to some of the people that I met while I was there. I was also on a podcast while I was there, and I got to meet Lucas from Chicago Typewriter. I've linked that all in the description below. I want to thank you so much for watching these videos, for supporting my YouTube channel and my typewriter addiction, and I want to remind you that you're just my type. Writer.